Jordan 1s, some really expensive Jordan 1s. Rory gets some IDs in the $500 penny pack. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. If there was one shoe that you could say started it all for Jordan, it would be this shoe, the Air Jordan 1 High OG. When it comes to being a classic, this shoe is one of those that will always have a special place in the hearts of Jordan fans everywhere. Many are calling it Chicago, but Nike is keeping it simple and officially calling it Varsity Red. This is the original colorway with the Nike brand and the Air Jordan Wings logo on the ankle. Not that I need to remind you, but the Jumpman logo didn't happen until the Jordan 3. You can look for these to arrive on Saturday for $160. Most of you know I love golf and the current number one player in the world will be rocking some heat this week at the Irish Open. These are actually Nike ID versions of his signature shoe, the Lunar Control 3, and they were designed by four kids whose lives have actually been impacted by cancer. The coolest part for me is that the footwear in golf isn't the most stylish or risky and you can tell that the kids that designed these are really pushing the envelope. One kid even threw in some fire print on a pair. You can look for Rory to rock these this week. Fans of the Phone Posit have a pretty cool sneaker popping up pretty soon with the Phone Posit 1 Sharpie teamed with the Penny 6. The Sharpie moniker came from the 1997 playoffs when the NBA basically told Penny that the Royal Blue Foams didn't adhere to the NBA uniform policy. So to fix it, Penny grabbed a Sharpie and colored the stripes black to get the shoes up to code and the rest, as they say, is history. The pack is said to be priced at $500, though an official release date has yet to be announced. Your brand is doubling up on the Jordan 1 this week, and if you happen to have an extra $400 to spend, you can grab this pair. Dubbed the Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle, the model rocks a beautiful full grain faux snakeskin upper drenched in black caviar leather. 24 karat gold plated eyelets, lace dubrays, and lace tips take the model up the luxury scale, as does that premium leather liner. That liner looks nice. These honestly feel like a really well done custom, and personally, I really like them. As I mentioned before, these are going to cost you $400 when they release on Saturday. Alright, as for the question of the video, I want to know about classics, or actually I want to know about three classics. Name three classics down in the comments below. For me, it's the Adidas Superstar, aka the Shell Toes, uh, it is the Chuck Taylor, and obviously as I mentioned earlier today, the Air Jordan 1. Let me know your three down in the comments below. As for that rocket today, it is this shoe, the Air Penny 2. Uh, this was a limited edition sent out by Foot Locker maybe two years ago or something like that. Uh, wore these today, obviously, because all the Penny Pack news was coming out, so I figured why not rock these. Um, and then they also kind of look a lot like the Penny 6, um, based on the shape. Just my observation. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. And also, if you aren't already, follow me over on Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, and all of that good stuff. It's all under the name Cousteau. Lots of stuff happening over there that isn't happening right here. And I have a special trip to Nike coming at the end of this week. So make sure you follow along on Snapchat because I'll be telling those stories and doing a little vlogging as well. Uh, I am your host, Jacques Slade. Uh, as always, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace get people to look at your content. However, as a blog, you have a voice, and with that voice comes a responsibility. You're in a place of power and influence, and when you abuse that, which is what I feel you did by posting such articles, you lose your authenticity, and you become no better than the trolls in your own comment sections. The conversation got so bad that Nike actually issued a statement about it to help